pterosaurs is taking the most dangerous flight of his life, and he might never return. You are traveling back in time. Millions of years flash by in seconds. You're going face to face with the wildest creatures that ever walked the earth. You're about to explore prehistoric planet. ago, this beach looked a lot like it does today. But this is the Cretaceous period, so the sky is full of bizarre creatures you've never seen before. Seagulls? Uh -uh. The flying reptiles called pterosaurs dominate this beach, like the Tapajara. This pterosaur is three times bigger than a modern eagle with a 10-foot wingspan. But he's a runt compared to the king of the skies. Meet Ornithochirus, the most terrifying pterosaur in the air. At 10 feet tall with a 40-foot wingspan, he's wider than a small airplane. See those little fingers on his wing? Ornithochirus means bird hand. Ah, uh, great work, reptile namers. When the king comes in for a landing, there's no runway needed. The hardest part is finding an empty rock. Then he just folds up his wings. Beautiful. Now we can get a closer look. That beak is four feet long. If you toss him a three-foot hero sandwich, he could down it in one bite. Massive beak included. He weighs in at 220 pounds. Ornithochirus is the jumbo jet of pterosaurs. In his 40 years of flying, he's seen more of the world than any other species of pterosaur. But now, he's reaching the end of his life. This flight could be the last time he crosses the Atlantic Ocean. His awesome expedition starts here in ancient South America. He's heading home to the island where he was born. A 9,000 mile adventure, more than a third of the way around the world. Why take such a long and dangerous journey? It's time to find a mate. But no animal can go globe trotting on an empty stomach. He makes a quick stop at the fish market. One more try. Ah, got one. Not half bad for a senior citizen. He'll need all the energy he can get to fly hundreds of miles a day for the next few weeks. Incredible view from up here. But the best part of this ride is invisible. Warm currents of air are rising up from the ocean. They're called thermals, and they make long-distance flight a whole lot easier. On a good day, he can flap his wings once and glide 300 miles. That's like flying from Boston all the way to Philadelphia on one flap. Ornithochirus rules the skies, no argument there. But down on the beaches of prehistoric Florida are the lords of the land, the dinosaurs. A herd of iguanodon, to be exact. They're on the move for the same reason as Ornithochirus. Their breeding grounds are up north, and mating season starts soon. Iguanodon is a plant eater that can grow to about 30 feet. Unlike most dinosaurs, he's got five fingered hands. One of those fingers is a deadly thumb spike. Mighty handy for punching holes through any predator dumb enough to mess with him. Dinosaurs like Iguanodon are land animals, so they're stuck on their own continent. But not the Sky King. He's an international traveler and an authority on the world's best beaches. This one looks perfect for the first rest stop 
on his 9,000-mile marathon. And he's hoping for nice weather for his day at the seaside.